Hey guys, so oh, let me move my dog's toys out the way. As you know, I'm currently experiencing some major burnout. Um, I just had soreness like all over. I couldn't sleep. Um, and my body's been sending me warning signs since day one. Meaning like four days ago, I first started feeling the, like the major symptoms without knowing what's really going on. And so lately as a practice, I remember in massage therapy that they taught us to do Qigong. And so you do the stretches and I know in the kidneys, like I really feel it there, like right below your lower rib cage in the back, like half your kidneys are covered by that lower part of your rib cage. The other half are kind of just hanging out in the open here. So it's like people think the kidneys are here. No, that's too far down. It's your hips. Your kidneys are actually like up here. So it's good to like hold them and like put the energy there because I really start to feel drained and the soreness in my lower back. So I may have to interrupt this video because my furniture is coming today. Um, but uh, yeah, like right now today, like I'm kind of actively choosing to take it easy and to like pace myself and like between bookings, I can like lie in my head for five minutes. You know, like I, I kept making excuses that I can't, that I don't have time, but you have to make time, you know? So I feel it under my eyes as well. And that's also a warning sign from the kidneys. So if you feel your lower back soreness and bags under your eyes, like purpling, that's your kidneys. Your kidneys are your energy, in, in, in terms of your meridians and your chakras, your energy life force, your battery pack. Imagine two batteries as your kidneys. That's literally your life force. And when those are drained, you are burned out. So that's how I know. And like, it's even elsewhere, like a part, a region I won't even mention on this channel. And in my right foot, I've been feeling it. So I know it's like, you know, some people feel it in their knees. Some people feel it in their upper back. You know, we carry a lot of negative energy. So these Qigong stretches are good for all of your systems to work in harmony to get a transmission in your brain. That's so what you do is your feet hips apart and you go breathe in and exhale and stretch as far down as you can. I can go all the way, both palms on the floor, right? Since a long time ago. Breathe in and do exactly as your arms stretch into the sky. Exhale. Legs straight, knees straight. And then on this third time, breathe in. You do this three times each, you go to the ground. It's kind of hard to do it on a, a hard floor. Maybe I should have done this on a carpet, but you get the point. Um, you have to be very flexible in your uh, ankles and make sure you don't sit on it until they crack. That's very bad. Maybe I should get a cushion actually. Let me get a cushion because you don't want your ankle to pop. You know, especially when you sit on it too fast. I've done this for years, so I mean, I can like literally lay flat. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't want to do it on a hard floor. I usually do it on a, like a yoga mat or like a carpet. Okay, there we go. So then you're on your knees. Okay, and if you can see, I have my glasses on, so that's why I'm squinting. I'm literally unable to see. But um, then you go like this, like you're sitting like this. Okay. That's how you're sitting, back straight. And then you go like this again. Breath in and then exhale and you stretch down as far as you can and reach with your pointers. I stretch all the way down, head down flat on the surface of the floor. And that stretches your lower back and again. Again, multitasking vlogs this week, I'm burned out. So you're not gonna see like too much effort on this channel. Oh God. Stretch. Oh, sorry guys. I I'm just, you have no idea. Like <laughs> when I go through it, I go through it. It's not just the full moon. Oh my God. It it's horrible. It's not a good feeling. Um, so, um, and then you do the same in reverse. So you go, and then you stretch your back and then you sitting on, if you can't sit in your ankles, then go as far back as you can. I do it 
because I've been doing it this for years, I guess I can kind of move like this just to show you how I do it. And then, uh, like that. Uh, and three full breaths. You're not a reptilian snake like I am then you probably won't be able to do that <laughs> or a yoga master instructor <sighs> hey buddy he thinks it's the time to play fetch I was like even playing around with my animals this morning just like really like sometimes we don't realize like we don't even spend enough time with our babies we're too busy focused on life <gasps> we have this big roof to pay and oh my god how are we gonna save for retirement and forget that you know your health is so more important like oh my god how are my stocks doing today like americans are so obsessed with financial greed it's it's uh, it's ugly it's ridiculous but at the same time it's our life like if we don't then we feel like we're not worth anything right and it's never enough, like we, we can't ever keep up. So it's like, <laughs> it's really sad. Anyway, so then you spread your legs apart like this in like a 90 degree angle. So you go, turn, face the opposite leg and lean to the left side and reach for your leg, knees straight, legs down, back straight. There's a lot to keep in mind and three full breaths like that as well. Then you do it again. Turn the opposite leg, lean, shoulders back, legs straight, push down, back, push back, three full breaths. And then you do the same and lean forward in between your legs as far as you can. And every breath and exhale, you lean closer, I mean, uh, further back, yeah, outwards, right? Like stretching. Three full breaths there, and then you. Do the butterflies, okay, like this, back straight. It's very hard to keep your back straight with this, but then you go again. And then plant your arms and your legs. Three full breaths. Curl down as far as you can. Then you curl like this with your legs. And then you plant like this, and then like this. So the first I'm gonna do this. Plant down on the floor, very hard to do, uncomfortable on a hard floor without shoes. And again, the opposite here. All right. Um, Oh, and I forgot this part where you just have your feet like in front of you, back straight, legs down, and then this is for the kidneys, so three full breaths, and that's it, I think. I made a full ASMR video on this before, but I also do like stretches, kind of like this, I kind of hold like this my arms in a circle and just, it stretches your arms and back, okay? And then hand on hip, lean one side, twice. Other hand on other hip, lean other side, twice. That's a good way to start your day. Lean forward, kind of like stretching like this and then back. Lean forward and back. And then you want to do this, curl back and push back. I curl back and push back. And then I like to do like stretch like this, 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 like this. Rotate, shake, rotate your shoulders up and down, head back, forward, left, right. Back, forward, left, right and then you rotate twice and then you rotate back twice oh god so much tension we carry in the body without a sense of realization 
You can even stretch your legs like this twice over and shake it off entirely. So much we store, especially when we work in the computer all day sitting down, you know. And the, the sucky part about burnout, you guys, you can argue and say, take a trip, take a vacation. Well, guess what? When you're reached to a level of this much burnout, it's too tiring to even go anywhere. So last time I felt this way was when I was in hypnotherapy dealing with school videos. And I wasn't even like, at that time, I just first started doing bookings. I was barely getting bookings, like <laughs> probably like five a month. And I was like, <sighs> can be five a day easily. So, you know, but thankfully I don't have to do school now. Um, well, I didn't never had to, it was just an option. Like I just wanted like, personal development and growth, you know, it was never something someone forced me to do. I just felt a calling to do. But I know right before you go through a horrible experience like this, you're about to hit your biggest breakthrough. I know it. So um, it happened every time I had burnout and then something major happened and a major shift and change in my life. So But I'm going to take it easy, you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for telling me to rest and take a break. I can't, but I can rest in between. Um, so I don't have to suffer through and feel this way again. Because um, I think I overdid it. And this weekend, probably the entire Saturday and Sunday, I'm just going to take off. And uh, just push things. Like, at least take most of my day off and then do my things. Like, my work in the evening. Um, and that's that, you guys. I'm just taking the time to walk in nature, ground my feet on the grass. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, Qigong, you know, there's so much healing in nature. I might go to the beach if I have energy this weekend and just like put my feet in the sand, wash away that negativity and the sea salt. And um, I just feel so at peace right now. I'm just hearing the birds outside and just taking it easy. Mm. Taking that peaceful moment of your day to find peace, to find joy. Enjoy your life, even if you have big goals and big dreams and you have to keep going to realistically get them. Because if I take a break, I can never reach my goal. So uh, I'm very determined. I think that's the man in, in men. Like um, men have genetically always been expected to bring home the bread, right? So I think it's in our DNA as men as creatures of habit to want to achieve our dreams and goals and there's a huge desire like to fight this resistance that our bodies feel you know to fight the flesh of wanting to rest and wanting to take time off but then another part of me just craves work craves that desire you know that humanly desire that instinct and it's a battle of the forces and that's the human nature in us all and um it's beautiful, it's remarkable, but at the same time, it sucks. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope this helped. I feel much better. I feel lighter. I feel like more flexible. I feel like a yoga instructor. Yes. Let's do some yoga next time. All right, guys, I'm feeling better already. I just needed some time to do this.